Hi, Lexies. Welcome back to the Luxury Live Show. I'm your host, Amy, and my co-host right beside me, my gorgeous co-host, Kat L. We do this every Friday, so every weekend, and uh, we alternate between our channels. So if you're new here, welcome. We always cover some sort of luxury-related topics, so today we wanted to explore what's new at Dior. We have some slides for you. Obviously, we're not going to go over every single item from Dior, but we definitely picked the stuff that we thought was nice and that we would consider, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I have some slides for you. I did mix them up a little bit so that we can alternate talking each other. So there's a little bit of bags. There's a little bit of ready to wear and mm -hmm. there's some fun stuff in there. So let me just share my screen have to say every time we do these kind of like what's new videos i always get tempted i always fall like no, i know <laughs> head over heels and just get like a little bit insane like oh my gosh maybe i should try to get like a dior bag now <laughs> i know i feel the same way and it's sort of like we do it to ourselves right we're like oh my gosh we can't help it also because you know we we have to keep updated right like as much as loyal of of, of of certain brands that we are um but you know there's there's a lot of cute stuff everywhere all the time so oh there's right. so much cute things <laughs> <laughs> yes uh so let us know also if you are eyeing anything at dior and just as a reminder uh we do take questions at the latter part of the live show so for us to see your question or your remark better please type actual question marks in front because, and this is an example, because we're on a different platform and it really helps us spot them. Otherwise we can miss them sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with the first and foremost, this thing, this bag, this brand new bag, which at the beginning I didn't even know what it was called, but I kept seeing it on social media. It's nice, it's giving me a bit of a I don't know a, a vibe from different like different sort of concepts merged together and it's called the lady 95.22 I don't even know how they say it is it 95.22 is it 95.22 like how did they even call it and there's no pricing on the Canadian site so I don't even know if this is really out yet uh, or is it just about to come out or is it already out because I definitely saw a bunch of social media influencers carrying this bag already. I'm um, sure there was a huge campaign behind it. But anyway, on the site, it says that this bag was revealed at the Dior Autumn Winter 2022-23 Ready to Wear show. The Lady 95.22 bag revisits the house's unique heritage with modernity and owed to the link between the past and the present. It reinvents the line of the Lady Dior and echoes the year 1995, the date of the icon's creation, and 2022, the year of its original reinterpretation. Its ultra-contemporary, subtly curved silhouette makes it a fashion statement, a promise of a bold and sophisticated look. The two handles, del delicately refined with leather and metal, are punctuated with Dior charms evoking the lucky charm of Monsieur Dior. Uh, the Lady 9522 is embellished with carefully handcrafted handles, leather shoulder strap that multiples um, can be worn um, in multiple ways. And yeah, basically repeating each other. Um, so yes, the details, right? So there's metal, there's leather. And even on the leather, if you like, look at the white part, it's stitched on top. It's really intricate. Um, the bag itself, it looks a bit on the slouchy side, but still structure. And it looks like there's this strap in between. There's this strap going across, right, in between uh, with a clasp that you can unhook, I suppose. And also a detachable shoulder or, I guess, crossbody strap, thicker leather. And this model is... Um, I think she's modeling the medium size in this picture, but there's different, definitely three sizes. It looks like there's a, a small and a medium and a large. I like it a lot. I don't know what, what it is. It's probably going to cost a lot, but like, I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's like the slouchiness. It kind of gives me pillow vibes. 
but also I like that it keeps its original more structured vibe too because the Lady Dior is inherently a structured bag so I like it a lot I don't know how you guys feel about it how do you feel about it Kat? The first time when you shared over your slides and I was looking at this bag I was like mm, it didn't really catch my eye but it's the type of bag that grows on you and I think I know why you like it doesn't it give you a bit of Birkin vibes but with the stripe right? <laughs> yeah it totally does and it's like I, so I'm just mixing it up I'm just making it up as I go but it gives me Birkin vibes it also gives me the old LV Montaigne bag I had mm -hmm. one like uh, a while back and it, very similar handle the flap opens like this and you can um i think there was a hook in the middle as well gives me that kind of vibe and also the slouchiness is very modern because structured bed tends to be maybe a bit more stiff and you know a bit uppity but this you know with the whole look and the shoulder strap i can see why you like it it's got that really edgy casual cool girl vibe look at the one at the corner there isn't she like cool i want to look like her <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um i again i've never seen this bag in person uh but based on the picture it does not look like there's a middle divider which i actually prefer i think it you know if you want you can detach the that that strap in the middle that kind of like the cinching strap you can detach it and then make mm. it into a huge tote i almost wonder if you let it out like it would wing out it would also have another look right but when you want it a bit more dressy you can just attach it um i really like it i wonder have you guys seen it is this out yet i just i i'm looking I at the know, comments so june is agreeing with me yeah it looks like the lv montaigne yeah that's the first yeah, thing is. i thought of as well yeah and okay kareen likes the bag but she's wondering if it's very heavy good point good point yes that's quite a lot of metal going on <laughs> joe is like <laughs> Joe, by the time I like this enough, the trend will be over. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, Joe is a hardcore fan of, well, we know, <laughs> we know what. <laughs> and I, I mean, I'm not going to disagree. Um, but, you know, as something new, I think this is quite interesting. And I like, you know how sometimes they reinvent the classics and you're like, meh, but this one I actually quite like. So yeah, nice one. All right. Looking forward um, to people dressing it up. Yes, yes, yes. Well, so far, I've only seen influencers uh, kind of promote this bag. So I haven't really seen anybody, uh, anybody else carry it because I almost wonder if it's really not out yet because there is no pricing, nothing. But the campaign's there. And since, you know, I, have I to guess say it would come out in fall, winter because it was revealed for the fall, winter ready to wear show for this year. So we'll see then. And we'll see how much yep. it costs. <laughs> but I have to say, the name, the name needs to go. Like, I, I think with the whole Chanel. It's like, too Chanel-esque. Like, like they're trying to... was, they go like, oh, we'll put two years together, 95, 22. <laughs> I think that's like, it's just like a bit of overkill. Just give it a name. Like, <laughs> well, I don't mind the name, but it is ha hard to, to say it. It's almost. hard to say, 95, yeah. 22. Yeah. 95.22. <laughs> I almost wish that they just said Lady 95 or something, you know? Yeah. 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 Or just make it Lady 23, whatever. <laughs> something shorter. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on. And I think this is your pick. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Firstly, I didn't just pick one color because obviously this is just too obvious. Because I, Did I just pick it because it's green? Not really. I actually have been liking the Carol bag. I think when it launched last year, it I didn't warm up to it instantly. But I have been seeing ladies around town carrying the um, medium size. I actually it's I'm I'm warming up to it. I actually really like the fact that it's the slouchy bag. There's a slouchy uh, feel to this. There's also a back pocket, and the chain just gives me the Shandong feels. I'm, I, I don't know, yes, you know, I kind of, I just love that. I can just imagine it going with my other jewelry pieces. It's just a perfect overall look. And it's one of those bags that, you know, because it's so classic in, sh in its shape, 
You can wear it casually. It's great for dinners. I I didn't think this bag would last as long as it did, but uh, oh, maybe it was a year and a half ago. So maybe early, mid 2021 until now. I don't know. What do you all think about this? I think they have one more picture for this, right? The black version. So if you don't like mint green, this green, uh, this sage green, the black is also really nice. I like the fact that the chain has a bit of the montane, um, well, my own montane, the, the, the leather part, this really nice buckle on it that will make the strap be very comfortable when you wear it crossbody. Yeah, the back pocket, perfect feature end to end. So this is the large, if I'm not mistaken. I think I took a picture of the large. So it comes so in several sizes, the, I, I like the medium. medium. Okay. Yeah, medium size and they have a large and then they obviously have the mini. But it's not too big and it's Dior's take on the Chanel classic flap. I I, I, I really like this. Uh, yeah, I, I have to agree that it's probably their take on, on like a classic shape flap bag. I also, uh, I agree that it has, you know, the Shandong vibe. But I, what I like about this is that you can double the strap. So you can wear it a bit shorter. I also notice, and I also noticed that on several bags, uh, and I'll go back to this slide. We can see the turn lock. This is so much easier than the, you know, the old Montaigne bag where yes. you have to really clip it into like the exact same space. The this tea. is so much they, easier. I think a good the turn tea. lock is all you need. Yeah, it's so good. This is so good. Like the the, the Montaigne that I had, it was that, the, I think the teapot, so it comes out like this and you had to clip into it. And it was so hard. Yeah, You've just got to get it right at that spot. And obviously, the clip, once it clips in, it's good. But it's a challenge if you have an extra packet of tissue. So, oh my gosh, if I go to Paris, <laughs> I will consider getting like a Dior bag because apparently the prices are super good in France. Actually, I like which this. Which one it's... would you get? Or are you getting, oh. are you probably going to consider some some of uh, the latter ones that we're going to show? Not uh, this one, Okay, right? well, we'll know we'll at the end. I'll tell you. All right, all right. But I have to agree. Like, it's it's sort of like at the prices that they are at now, I would only get them if you can get a little bit of saving. But I have to say, I was a little bit of, I was a little bit surprised about uh, some of the pricing from, certain things that they have which we will cover um okay so you pick this i also pick this but i'll, yes. I'll let you go ahead because this is your your slide now again first time i saw it i did not warm up to it i was like no <laughs> lady dior is square it's square okay don't elongate the lady dior <laughs> east west side but I'm warming up to it. Like, Joe, I'm just kind of warming up to it. And then our dear friend here, Isabel, <laughs> reveals her that I'm like, okay, that's it. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Influence. But, you know, it's a shape that I, now that I look at it, I can see the versatility of it. Now, the square shape, because it's so classic and it's been around for years and years and years, and we like to hold on to classics, right? It's not the most practical. And maybe that's one of the reasons why I have not gone to get a Lady Dior because of the square shape. If you want to find something that's deep inside, you do need to maneuver a bit. It's not impossible. You do need to just, you know, wiggle around. But being long, it just means that your things are on the east and west side of the, of the bag. And being a shorter profile just means it's elongated. Like, you just put your things in a row. <sighs> Is brilliant. <laughs> so now I am just, uh, yeah, really, really eyeing this. But I'm pretty shocked with the price because it's a lot. Like it's a lot. $6,300. I haven't been observing Dior prices, but it did catch me by surprise that it's significant. Maybe because it comes with a lot of things. It comes with a shorter strap which i see myself using more than the longer strap i just feel like the lady dior design is more top handle rather than cross body you could use it cross body but this extra shorter strap as like just a little you know ladylike shoulder bag 
Oh, chef's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. So when I saw you pick this one, which is the black version, because I also picked the same bag, but I just showed it in a different color. I was like, oh, there's just something about a good black and gold bag. It's you just cannot get better than black. Yeah. That's always my opinion. Like black bags are always classic and you'll never get tired of it. Uh, and I have to agree with everything you said. The fact that they elongated it east west makes putting things inside so much easier. Always. It's always about the phone, right? It's always about the phone, but not only that, it's other things too. Um, I have the classic square one, the mini. I only use it on special occasions because of that same reason, because it's just not the most practical to try to fit everything inside. Yes, you can fit everything inside, but to retrieve it, put it back, retrieve it, put it back, that's when it gets a bit challenging. So it's a bit like Tetris. Having that, hmm? It's a bit like, you know, you got to play Tetris with it, you know? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta out. reorganize it every time so with a longer shape sometimes you can just like maybe shove it in and then just you know especially with phones and things with the longer shape even keys right just put it in and then it can be on the side in the middle on the other side it's it's still fine um yeah i i love the black uh but i have to say the price it is shocking but at the same time they basically so i remember when i was looking at the at the website and I was doing my slides. Oh, actually, this is your your pick too. But I picked this one, which is also the small size in the pink. Um, I mean, I picked the pink because I feel like for Dior, they do the, the black very, well, I mean, black is black, but they do their soft colors, like the blush, mm, pink, blush and the, pink and the soft pearl gray. Like they do it so well. Like they do these colors, these pastel -y colors so well that I had to pick the pink. Um, but yeah, I think they um they pretty much priced this bag. Actually, you know what? It's still cheaper than the one that I have. Oh my gosh. Because currently my bag, like the mm -hmm. one that I own, is uh I think it's like sixty six thousand something before tax. Wow. I'm like shocked right now that this one is cheaper. I'm actually, is it? Or is it the same price? Maybe I'm getting it wrong. I'm mistaking with the medium size. But, um, okay, so you you picked a medium too. Let, uh, why is that? Medium mm. is big. It's big, right? But there's, I don't know. I just feel like it. I can get away with a little bit bigger of the bag. I don't know. Maybe it's the whole big bag trend that is... I'm slowly getting into it now that I'm just so lazy to transition from a big bag to a small bag. I feel like what's happening because I am going back to the office, I'm taking more things out. What's happening for me is I either go really small, which is like our Chanel uh, micro bag, and I just know it's a quick errand, or I just go boom, big. So the mid-size mm. smalls, I don't have many. Um, okay, like my Bottega, uh, my Bottega green bag. That's like a mid-size small. I find myself kind of allocating them to be special occasion bags. Pre-pandemic time, they were the bag, right? Because I don't need to carry everything with me. But now I feel like I need to bring a few more extra things. I need to bring an umbrella or I need to bring a, you know, um, extra keys, extra tissue, uh, stuff like that, that Though I am very attracted to the smaller size because visually it's just so pretty. But practically, I feel like I need a little bit more space. So when I saw the medium, I was like, actually, it kind of works. No, it kind of works. But would you, would you really reasonably use this as a work bag though? Mm, not a work bag, but maybe a weekend bag. Like mm. if I were to go out the whole day, say morning till the evening um, lunch with the girls and stuff yeah. like that i feel like this would be a good full day bag yes definitely and this color again with the all the pastel -y colors oh, your does it so well they do so it really good. really well ethereal green they call it it's <laughs> it's just it's just enough of enough of the green yeah that it's tasteful it's not in your face kind of you know bottega green where it's all there, green, but this is that girly green, ethereal green. So perfect, perfect name.
Yeah, it almost gives me, um, it reminds me a little bit of the, the extra mini cocoa that I have, like the seasonal. Right. Yeah, Yes. it's, it's kind of that sage, just very soft green. It's not so in your face. It also blends into outfits, like if you're wearing a lighter outfit or maybe like a khaki uh, or like a like this kind of color, right? Kind of like taupe, taupe color brown. And it looks very, very well with this kind of green. Beautiful. OK, so, um, yeah, the the Lady D Joy, right? Um, I am definitely warming up to it and I. I also have to agree, if I have to pick a size, this would be probably the perfect in-between size. I think medium would be too big for me. The mini, I adore it. It's adorable. And we all saw on Isabel's unboxing, which is why I also picked it, uh, which is this one. But I think the perfect in-between size that you can still sort of like take it for a nice evening out and still be... an adequate day bag I would definitely pick this small I also love the fact that it comes with two straps so you've got the thicker crossbody and then you've got the more um I wouldn't call it dainty but it definitely has hardware so it looks more sort of like evening a little bit more bling shiny so I like that I like that a lot and I wonder how many of you actually own this bag because I think it's still relatively new that we don't know a ton about it. Yes, we see it on campaigns. We see it here and there on social media, but it's definitely not at the same popularity and status as the classic square one. So yeah, I wonder, do you guys think that this will be um, still pretty popular in like 10 years? Hmm. I think so. I, I feel like this has enough classicness to it that it's it will stand the test of time there's a practical element to this uh shape so yeah Yeah, and I, I do agree also with one more thing that I think this trumps the square shape is also the fact that the detachable straps go on the sides, not on the D-rings. Yes. So you know how my bag, I have to clip on the actual D-ring where the Dior charms are. That's, mm, that's also probably why I don't use the strap very much. I leave it there, but I don't really use it unless I have to be hands-free for a moment. But I like that this one, you can still clip it on the D-ring, but it's better if it's on the side, right? Because on the side, I feel like it just more is more balanced for your bag. I'm going to pull a couple of comments as well now. So Joanne is saying, I'm starting to like the mini East West Lady Dior, the one that Isabel style just Mm, unboxed. this one, Oh, this one. she definitely did. Yeah, she was oh, so cute, so cute. And then um, <laughs> Coco, Coco Kitty says, it reminds me of a clarinet case. It does, Oh, it does yeah. a little bit. Oh, Miss Cham has... Uh, vintage east west lady dior so it's been it's been around but uh, maybe they came out again Well, that's what I like about uh, the east-west style, even though to us it's like, oh, it's new, blah, blah, blah. But the older bags have always been longer, right? yeah Like 20 years ago, there's it's always been longer, right? So... This is just kind of bringing back the vintage vibe, but, you know, kind of revamped. And of course, it's it's new now. So like it's new for a lot of people. But yeah, this is the mini size. So compared to the small size on the like on the picture on the corner, left upper corner, it's small. It's definitely small, allure, but still good enough to for a phone, which is fantastic <laughs> and then you save a bit of money too if you don't care for the small size um which i think it's amazing and sometimes i will say sometimes even though you know like you just mentioned earlier how you prefer either like a nano nano bag or like a big 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 bag but i still i still sometimes feel like 
having less is more freeing. Like I know having a big bag is freeing in a sense that you don't have to worry about not missing anything, but having mm -hmm. a smaller, thinner bag on the body is also quite freeing because it's less heavy too. True, so true. it's good to have options. And this, this, uh, this one, I think if you can get it on sale, like not, not on sale, but like if you can get it in Paris, save a little bit of money, it would be amazing because the price yeah. point is still acceptable. Right. <laughs> It's cute. Okay, one more comment from um, Chris. So Chris has the medium de joy. She says that it's a very practical bag, works so well for casual wear. Love carrying it by the handles. It's perfect. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's, it's oh. such a good, like the medium size is such a good size that you will, like, you will see it. It's like... Yeah, I'm boss. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's one of those shapes. I think because we've been looking at the Lady Dior, the square shape, which is still beautiful. Okay, d d don't get us wrong. We still love it. But because that's been like ingrained, tattooed in our brain that it should be square, when it first came out for maybe for a lot of us who are like, you know, we just want that shape. This for me took a while. I, I really took a while to warm up to an east-west shape, like, rectangular shape but over time maybe you see it often enough you get influenced i really can see the practicality in it and right. yeah yeah. one yeah. more comment then we can move on luxavore this this like the dejoy when i first saw it high five now i love it <laughs> and one <laughs> one it grew on me like the chanel 19 love that it's a practical oh, yeah. shape too yeah it's like we sort of like, you know, let the brain kind of figure it out. Like, you know, it's a better shape. You know, um, so because I already have the square mini for this version, right? Like I, I, I probably wouldn't buy another mini. But if I were to buy another one and if I really like, you know, I had nothing else to do. I really want another Dior bag. I, I will consider the small. Like mm -hmm. the small. The yeah. small is a good size. It's a good everyday size. All right. Awesome. Oh, and this color is so beautiful. This peony, they call it the peony color, peony pink. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. So I chose this. Um, very similar comment that you had for the, you know, the first Montaigne bag that you, sh you showed. Um, mm -hmm. The strap. Love the fact that it is this CD, CD, and it has alternating gold and also lacquer gold very very nice i don't know what it is it's just it's just fancy i like it uh, of course it also gives the shendong vibe again the east west design something about this shape just screams more practical and also uh like i mentioned earlier turn lock so important because like your bag which you mm -hmm. had for a while um and I tried also, I found it a bit difficult to close. And then with this one, it's box leathers. There's something about box leather that's always sort of so attractive. They do these um, kind of pastel -y gray colors, so beautiful. Like their grays are the perfect grays all the time. And I was actually a bit surprised at the price right now, maybe because it's still introductory. This one is called the 30 Montaigne Avenue Bag. I was I was a little surprised that oh it's in the four thousands obviously you plus mm. tax over five but I was like oh it's not so bad like considering how you know how everything is so expensive now like Chanel minis are over five for, before tax and then everything else just crazy and I was like oh and on the model it looks amazing she's wearing the black one or if you prefer a canvas they still have the very iconic Dior. Uh, what is this canvas called again? The um, oblique. Sorry, oblique, right? Is, is it yeah, oblique? It's oblique canvas? So there's choices for everyone, um, but I picked the gray because I'm like, mm, this gray is nice. This gray is very nice. What do you think about it? I'm surprised you picked this. Really? Actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was surprised about your choice. <laughs> the first one. I um. 
I don't know. I I saw it and I actually prefer the leather version than the oblique. Maybe the, the oblique just one? looks. Yeah, I prefer this. This. Um, oh, you mean the, the, the box? Yeah, yeah, the box. Yeah, leather. yeah I, I prefer, prefer the, the box, box leather. Box but I just showed like different versions mm. of it on the picture. I don't know. I'm undecided. Maybe it's, maybe it's the same as the DeJoy. I'm undecided yet. I haven't made up my mind about this bag yet. But I do like the features you talked about. So the chain, having it fully gold, and then with the lacquer. I, I didn't notice that until you showed me. I was like, yeah, okay, that's a really nice touch mm -hmm. of detail. Um, I love the back pocket. I love the chain. Yes, the turn lock. But overall, the shape, I'm still, still undecided about it. It's very practical shape. This is like my mom's kind of bag, you know, like long <laughs> and easy to take things in and out. But I don't know. But Wait I, a minute. Yeah, this right. is the same shape as all the shape we've been discussing so far. Oh, but there's something about this shape. <laughs> it kind of looks... Mm. Oh, because this one's crossbody. Is that why? Maybe. Okay. Or maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't figured it out yet. It's is not one that rounded I edge, like corner. Maybe. Maybe. But this rounded corner, however, to me, it reminds me of all the classic shape that we're seeing right now. Like Celine is doing it. Of uh, who else is doing it? Everybody is doing a version of it. Everyone is doing it. Yep. Yeah. This is like. This is like the 1970s, no, 1980s kind of bag, you know, that uh, the all the shape. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, which is why I, I didn't pick it. I like it. it. I like it a lot. <laughs> give me a while. Give me a while. Gonna, you know, to if it. I was going to find a play bag, like a any bag but Hermes, right, obviously, uh, like a, a fun play bag, I would consider Celine. I would consider Dior. Um, I mean, Chanel, hmm. No, that's not play. That's not play bag. You know, like I would just go for brands like that. And then I would go for like a, a fun shape like this. If if I was going for a play bag, you know, that's how I look at it, I guess, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea and it's fine. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Always give Dior time. <laughs> But I quite like it. Like, even the black version, even if you don't go for gray, maybe gray is too strong. Like, you're like, oh, no, no, too much going on. Like, the black, I find it's oh, very, no. like, it's very classic. And okay, I, I, I think you can't know even what? tell that it's a Dior bag, too. True. You know what? There's, there's the similarity of the shape to the bobby bag, and I don't like the bobby bag. <laughs> oh, but know. the bobby bag's different. It has, like, a cutout, which is so hard to That's get true. in and out. That's this true. one is wide open. Yeah, this is true. But it gives me the vibe. So maybe that's why I'm like, hmm, there's something similar, there's something familiar about this bag that I maybe connected to it. I, well, I don't know yet. Oh, but, but you're I right, huh? the, the bobby price bag for that is reason. so much better. The price. Oh, yeah, this oh, is so much better. And the bobby bag is more expensive too. Yeah. I didn't like the bobby bag. I still don't like the bobby bag. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I predict, <laughs> I predict they will phase out the bobby bag and this will be the next, I predict. I would much prefer this over the bobby bag any day. I there is something about this this for me there's something about the vintage East West and the fact that they still kept a lot of like the rounded softness to it, like the vintage softness to it that I like. Um mm. I mean I don't love it enough to like oh I must buy it tomorrow, you know, like not like that, but for for like another kind of different bag that I don't have. I, I quite like it. All right, next one. Okay, I decided to add this last minute because I was like, why not? Um, I thought this was interesting. So they have a few sizes. This is, they call it the medium Dior Travel Nomad pouch. There's also a small version, which is quite small. The small is quite mini. But then they also have a much larger version, which they call the Nomad bag, not the Nomad pouch. I don't know. Anyway, it gives me a little bit of that same vibe as, uh, well, a cross between the Prada re and also the <laughs> Hermes Brie de Brac, because it can, you can like, you can unclasp the middle and then it opens. 
So it kind of gives me that, like that, you know, you open the strap vibe, but it still has a shape of the, well, kind of like the re-edition from Prada. And most importantly, I I was, again, surprised at the price because I thought, you know, Dior, to me, it's always been, Dior's been always expensive. So I was kind of surprised that it was just under 3000 before tax. Um, maybe because it's considered a pouch, so they priced it less. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I thought it was interesting. And I thought, you know, it give, gives me milk pillow vibe. It's modern and it's a very simple construction, but you still get a bit of Dior, like the Canage print. I mean, the Canage um, quilting. I like what do you it. think? I like this. Cute. It's actually really cute. And you're right. It reminds me, the first thing when I saw this, I thought, oh, H bag, travel pouch. <laughs> um, I do wonder if they'll make it in other colors or they do have it in other colors. I saw them in different colors on the site. Yes. Many colors, actually. A lot of the... Not in this pouch size, but in the larger. So the larger Nomad bag is actually quite expensive. That one is over 4000 5000 So that one comes in several colors. In the mini, like in this size and the mini, I, I think I only saw black and maybe one other color, I think. You know, I also like the... Um fact that they have two small little D-rings at the end of the strap. So if you want to, you know, you want to save some money, you don't want to spend, you know, six, seven thousand dollars on a DeJoy bag or any of the bags. Maybe you still want that canache look and you want a crossbody, you can actually attach your own strap there. So it makes mm-hmm. the bag, this little pouch, at least more versatile. Yeah. And they even call it here modern hybrid design crafted in black calf skin. It's a unique micro canache quilted effect, spacious, flexible, accommodates all your essential, can be worn by hand or over the shoulder. Yeah. I thought it was I thought it was fantastic that the price was still like this is actually I think I think this is actually now cheaper than the Prada crystal that we oh, once owned. The yeah. Prada crystal is like three, nearly four. Exactly, now. but like, this is Ugh. all leather though. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought it was very interesting. <laughs> La Yi is asking or wondering if the leather would be hardy if it's used to be a travel bag. Um, Maybe okay because it's calf skin. Yeah, it's not lamb, it's calf skin. Maybe okay, actually, if you were to carry, you use this like a... Um, uh, crossbody if you're going around town and it doesn't have it doesn't have a lot of you know bells and whistles and charms so it'll be very light as well should be okay i think because it's costly it should be okay i mean check it out and let us let us know <laughs> i haven't seen it in person but i i saw it and i had to add it last minute because i was like oh this is a good bag for what it is Ah, uh, okay. We're getting to ready to wear. Are we getting to ready to wear? I think so. Yes. Okay. Now i I brought I bought sh- 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 two shoes. So this to me is just more aspirational because honestly, high top shoes are hard to wear, but they look so good. I've always loved a high top shoe and a pair of white sneakers. Just looks so sporty. I love the star. I actually like the detail at the bottom of the sole with this mm. big star. Obviously, you're not going to look at the bottom, but kind of like Louboutins, right? The red sole. Everybody's like, ooh, Louboutin. This is Dior's take on something similar, but with the star shape. Gosh, it's just it's just a sporty look that I like. Um, how practical it would be because it's a high top sneaker. I don't know, which is why, if you don't mind going to the next one, I thought, wow, (laughs) same thing, but low top and a good pair of white sneakers. 
can't go wrong with it. This one has a little bit of a difference because it has mesh. So <clears throat> when you you're, it's like a netting, um, your feet can you can see through your the shoe. Could be nice. I I haven't tried it. I just saw it online. But in terms of pricing, I feel like the high top gives you more value for money because <laughs> it's just like a hundred dollars difference. But maybe for every day, this would be something more practical. I've I've never I don't own any. Do I own any? No, I don't own any Dior shoes. But from what I've heard about their shoes, their you know their dad sandals, their um, pointy, the ones with the ribbon at the side. Um, there's also I think slides. Most I think they've got most good reviews. Like nobody said like they don't feel good. So yeah, I kind of like the sneakers. If I had to choose between the two, I think I'll try to go for more practical. I guess I'll go with this. But aspirationally, I really like the high tops. They just they give me cool girl vibes. Well, I have to agree about the cool girl vibes. Actually, my husband loves high tops. Ah, oh. <laughs> so. I think it's just um, you just you just kind of just go for it. All obviously, he's also dresses a bit more sporty, so you you kind of have to be in the sporty vibe to pull these off. I think, yes. but yeah, very very nice. And every time I see stars, I think of you because I know you like stars. I love <laughs> yes, I love, and I love the little charm on the um, on the shoe. These are the little details that Dior has been focusing on. But there's a little star here, a little charm there, like the the class, uh, sorry, the chain that has you know gold and then lacquered. It's just those like touches of details that you know if you notice it, then you'll be like, wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. so, I I like these. Very nice. I don't have any Dior shoes either, but I have tried the pointy flats and also like the is it the kitten heel? Maybe it is. With the bow on the side didn't work for me i really mm -hmm. wanted to like them but but then again i have issues with most pointy shoes so <laughs> that's probably more, more my problem than anything else yeah uh i think it's the whole sporty vibe <laughs> that mm -hmm. i'm going for and again jeans it's there is something about the cool just like a jacket like can you wear this as a jacket like over your like maybe like this i'll just put this on top it comes like do two two layers of shirt and i can wear it on its own as you can see the model i think she's wearing something underneath and this is she's using it like a short sleeve jacket i love a good denim over like do you know called an overcoat like an um, outer layer like a denim outer layer but a lot of these denim outer layers tend to be long sleeve, or if they're short sleeve, they're very thick. But this just seems so much more Singapore friendly. Mm -hmm. I want to have the denim look, but I don't want it to be like long sleeve all the way here. Just, you know, just around my elbow. And I like the detail. Actually, at first I was thinking, you know, how do I work it with silver gray lines? But it's quite yeah, neutral. It's quite it's quite neutral. Yeah, it's not like like in your face kind of um, lines, right? Not like white lines. So it just makes this top. Yeah, it just looks so good. And in, I mean, in days that are really cold, I can actually just wear it as like top. Yeah. The so price. <laughs> the price. that was one of the things that I was actually really surprised about is they're ready to wear. Obviously, I haven't looked at Dior for a while. So now that we are revisiting it, I... I was actually kind of surprised that a lot of the ready to wear were, I don't want to say affordable, but I was shocked that it was lower than I expected because I always thought oh. that, you know, maybe because I'm so used to seeing Chanel prices that I'm like, oh, oh kind of numb. Yeah. And so when I saw this, I'm like, oh, this is a really good price. In fact, it's kind of in line or even maybe sometimes I felt like some of their things were more affordable than even Hermes ready to wear nowadays. Hermes ready to wear is getting expensive lately, yeah, especially is. with the latest price increase. I thought, wow, it's getting up there. I mean, it's still okay, but like, uh, it's like I, it, I feel it, you know, like everything mm. you buy, it adds up kind of faster now. Um, so that was one thing I was quite surprised 
And speaking of like a shorter outer jacket, I also saw a few versions. I didn't include it in the slides, but I also saw a few other versions that I liked as well. Um, mainly there was a there was one where the collar was very nicely cut. It was like very nicely tailored. It had like that sharp kind of collar cut. And then there was one also that had um, the, the horizontal Stripes. lines, black and white, very mm. classic, super nice. Okay, thank you, Kat. So um, I picked things that were more appropriate for our weather here, <laughs> since it's a little colder here. Um, so this was one of the jackets that it literally, it drew me to it because first of all, I love how crispy it is, like the crispness of it. Just look at the model, like she wore it, right? It's, you still have structure, but softness to it. Mm. It's just amazing. I love how the cut just stands out on its own. It's a very simple you know, kind of, um, how do you call this? Um, it's not houndstooth, but um, is it plaid? I don't know how to call this, but it's a very simple sort of black and white classic print in a very, also very classically cut jacket, but modernized because it's a bit cropped, right? And it's a little bit more boxy, not so like, you know, you're squishing all your flesh inside. Um, and most importantly, I was shocked at the price. I was like, are you kidding me? I think I think even like a equivalent Hermes jacket, if they were even to have this, oh. or they don't, would be way more expensive than this. So I was quite shocked about it. And this is not like a bad fabric. This is this is um I'm pretty sure this was wool. Yeah. Yeah, it says Black and white wool with a Prince of Wales motif. Oh, there you go. Prince of Wales. Regular fit design, double-breasted. Completed by flap pockets at the high light of the waist. This jacket yeah. will be paired with a seasonal attire to complete the look. Yeah. And this was part of the newest collection, I think. This, I don't know if it's spring, summer, or it could be the one before that. But I was just, literally, I was like, wow, this is a gorgeous jacket. I would totally buy this. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm looking at the price, I think I saw this as well online. Oh, but yeah? I, I cause it, because it's long sleeve, I'm like, no. Nah. Yes, and am I yeah, even going to yeah, wear yeah. it? But now that I look at it and I'm like, yeah. Because my like, the jacket before, denim, was already in this price range. But this is wool and, you know, all of that. Oh, well, well okay. Dresses. So plus tax will be over four, but still, like still. it's a long sleeve wool jacket, right? It's like a, mm. it's a good jacket. I'm sure if we had that uh, denim, I didn't see the denim one that you picked, but if I'm sure if we had that, it would be, it would be less than this. I'm pretty sure. But then again, it speaks to how like I was literally, kind of like taken aback. I'm like, oh wow, like, did they just do something there with their ready-to-wear department? Something they're getting more reasonable <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> okay, But so then again, we haven't been looking at their ready-to-wear as well, no. right? For me, both of us, we look in the bags. So now that we're exploring, you're like, wait a minute, that's not too bad. That's a good point too. Like, I definitely feel that because both of us have you know, a pretty tight and good collection of bags. And we've been collecting for a while too, that I'm definitely more interested these days. I'm definitely more interested in ready to wear and jewelry instead. No bags are still fun, but like I, I'm okay if I don't add them. Like that's how I feel. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So similar to this jacket, there is also just that very classic navy one. So again, mm. also a uh, um, navy wool and silk twill, which look at the structure. It's so crispy. This one is even more structured than this one because you have you see how like the back of this one is a little bit more like the fabric is maybe a bit thinner. This one, you can definitely see the structure on her back. It's mm. it's nice. I mean, I was just like, are you serious? It's a little bit more expensive, but this feels more proper. And uh, is it more classic? Not necessarily. It's the same shape. So it's really just your own pers personal preference. You can just get 
the more softer version, which is this Prince of Wales motif, which I actually prefer. I think this is more easily wearable for me because I feel like in the summer, I can just throw it on my shoulder. In the winter, I'll just wear it as an actual jacket or even as an out outfit. I'll just button it up and it's part of my outfit. I'm telling you, the more I look at it, the more <laughs> I want to go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas this oh. one is more like, you know, almost feels like more outerwear and mm. it's modern because it's cropped. So it wouldn't work with all kinds of jeans and whatnot. Um, but it would definitely work very well with like a pleated skirt, a high waisted pant or jeans. And yeah, I'm just very, very impressed at how like how nice it and how how nice it is. Mm. I actually really like this jacket's detail on the inside. So obviously there is just at the collar, you can see the oblique, mm -hmm. how much the oblique would be as the whole jacket. But imagine if you take it off and because you're opening the jacket and then yeah. the oblique just, wow, just see through on the inside. Kind of like reversible, but not. People are like, whoa, nice jacket. I'm like, yes, nice jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, every time you wear open, you can still see a little bit probably from the side, right? So peeking through. I'm telling that. you, we both probably should go try to look for it at no, least. They may not, not have it in because... stock, but I just, at least go try it if they have it. <laughs> it's so cute. It's dangerous. That's why I was just saying, doing these videos are dangerous. <laughs> it is. Every time. It's a it's a such a nice jacket. I even like the buttons. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a comment from Laie. Amy, I think it's time to give Dior a chance. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, I have I have one Dior bag, so I'm not completely out of the picture. But I I don't have anything else at this point other than the bag. <laughs> They're ready to wear. It's so nice. Like I I think it got nicer. It, it used to be too feminine maybe uh you know what i mean like it's just just feminine now it's sort of it's gotten a bit it's still very feminine but it's gotten a bit more modern and um maybe more everyday wearable that's the vibe that i'm getting from them yeah okay so i had to pick the bar jacket except that this one is um a version of the bar jacket. It's actually oh, wow. knitted. So look at the D. I don't know if you can see the picture. Maybe it's a bit small for you guys, but it's a knitted bar jacket. So it has the same cutting and classic silhouette as the bar jacket, but it's actually in a knitted fabric. It's a very heavy knit. So I love that about it. First of all, it reflects it in the price. It's a little less. But also, I like that it's a, a knitted fabric, so it feels more everyday wear. Yet, it's mm. still very classic, if that makes any what sense. What is a bar jacket? Is that the shape? Yes, is is this is their classic bar jacket. It's um, oh. It says it here. It's, it's their emblematic piece from the 19, 1947. So... It's their classic jacket. Like if you buy any classic, if you buy any jacket and their classic line, this is probably one of them that you would buy. It's sort of like Dior, uh, Balmain has their, you know, the structured big shoulder jacket. This is this is Dior's version's classic jacket and they call it hmm. the bar jacket. But I like this knitted version because I feel like it's more wearable. Like if it was just the, you know, like the classic suit twill wool, that would be too, it's too elegant and too formal for mm -hmm. everyday wear, in my opinion. Whereas this one feels more like I could just wear it today, like with, uh, I don't know, with my jeans, something like that, you know, but I could still dress it up. So I have to pull this out too because obviously nice. you cannot not include the classic, right? But it's sort of revamped. In fact, they've they've had uh, I saw several sort of different reinterpretation of the bar jacket in different ways. Uh, this was one of the ones that I did like a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. 
like really a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Lai's comment, Amy. I think it's time to give the art. I know. Job. Oh gosh, <laughs> not enough money to <laughs> no. like uh, spend too much already. You know, as it is. Uh, <laughs> we shall just admire through really the slides. Like <laughs> We'll drone to through go the on slides. A European oh, trip oh. and buy all these things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get a little bit of savings there. But anyway, a very, very sophisticated, beautiful jacket. So if you want more classic shape, this would be the one. And I think this one would be my last one. So last but not least, I had to pick something. I had to pick a coat. Like I was looking at yeah. all their coats and I was like, oh, I'm like, yeah, they're all nice, but this one really drew my attention. I think someone bought this coat. Is it Karis? I think Karis. Either Karis or someone else. I can't remember exactly who, but someone has this one. I love that this trench coat is basically three in one. You get three looks in one. So you get the whole trench, obviously. You wear everything. And then you also get kind of just like the inside um, layer, which is sort of that sleeveless, almost like a dress belted dress look and then of course if it's too hot but you still need a jacket you could just wear the top layer which is just the just the short crop trench super you need cute this huh i said you need this this is amazing <laughs> No, I'm then all of it then oh my gosh i'll be oh broke. my god of everything this is this is so good it is right what? It's amazing. Brilliant. It, yeah. I, I think yeah. someone has this jacket. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember who exactly. I saw it on someone. Uh, and then I, of course, when we were doing the research for this slide, for these slides, I, I saw it again and I'm like, oh yeah, I have to pick this. It's beautiful. Wow, Literally, it's beautiful. you get three jackets for, um, you know, for the price of one. <laughs> It's amazing. Wow. Um, yeah, I I like it a lot. But it's great because you get a dress, okay, yeah. or whatever kind of like trench coat dress thing, mm -hmm. and then you get a jacket on top of it. What? That's it. We're going shopping tomorrow. Oh I wish we could do. We could just go shopping together. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! It's nice. It's really it's nice. Really In fact, good. This uh, is again, good I'm going to reiterate this. I was really shocked at all the prices we've seen so far. Obviously, we have picked things that are slightly on the more reasonable side because they still have the really, really classic oh, yeah. pieces and they are at their higher prices. Um, I feel like this one should be a classic, but it's probably because it's part of a, I don't know, part of a runway or re more recent something. It's still quite reasonable <laughs> for Dior, for Dior, obviously. Yeah, it's a good jacket. This is good. This is nice. This is really good. Like, <laughs> this is like one, it's half price. It's if I would, because it looks like it's just two pieces, right? You get a dress kind of trench coat mm -hmm. and you get a jacket on top of it, or you mm -hmm. can wear the jacket itself. But it, essentially, it's like two pieces. Yeah. Um, two pieces, three looks. Yeah. But then if you think of it, it's like two, like half price. Like if you divide by two, you get two pieces. I know. It's actually a really good deal. <laughs> ready to wear. Like, what? I know. I was like, what? Like, imagine if uh, Chanel did, did this. It would be way, 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 Oh, my way God. More. If Chanel did this, it would be five figures. Yeah. <laughs> Just on the top jacket yeah, itself. Yeah, it would be close to that. Yeah, for sure. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. Who owns this, by the way? Who owns this? It's a Does nice anyone own this? <laughs> wow. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was a lot of fun for us to look through Dior again. And I so figured you... why not? Because I, I remembered the, 90, the Lady 9522 bags. So I'm like, oh, we have to do Dior at least. Just come back to Dior. Um, but we'll do a little bit of a plug here. So tomorrow, as a reminder for the members, we have a very special, special episode tomorrow. So don't forget to join us. And the plug is, if you don't know how to join us, go to mm -hmm. our, our, main, our main channel page and you can join our membership. Uh, join it on both sides so you don't miss out on any episodes. 
And of course, we have two levels of the membership for you to join. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's it was fun. fun. It's fun and dangerous to do slides like this, no, okay? Seriously. So, Amy, if everything you looked at, what are you going to get? Like, what would be your top pick? Okay, so I'm not going to pick a bag since I have a lot of bags. Um, uh, Maybe I just have to get that trench coat. It's yes! such a good one. It's such, such a good, good one. one. Oh my god! Because it's three yes. jackets. Well, let's say two, right? Two jackets in one, right? Like I can always wear the short one when it's like warmer, and then I can just wear everything when it. it's colder. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would go for the the joy. Yeah. Like I like the Carol. Mm, I like the Carol, but I see if I want like I I think I've transitioned from. Just crossbody bags, two yeah. bags with top handles. In the past three, three, four years, I mean, I've always been like just you know shoulder bag. But we've spoken about this. Like, I don't really enjoy having a bag. I mean, I'll I'll do it, but it's not. It's not my favorite now. Like, I can get away with just on my shoulder. I'll deal with it because yeah. I feel like when I carry stuff crossbody now. I just, I don't want to squeeze everything. I just feel trapped yeah. in a way. Yeah, mm. right? You just feel like, ah, uh, and the thing is swinging. I'll do it for a while, but I'd rather just grip the bag and yeah, deal with it. Even for my Kelly, I just like to hold the Kelly. I have the cross, I mean, I have the strap. I use it, not all the time. So between the Caro and the DeJoy, I just... Yeah, I, I just like the DeJoy ball, the, the East-West one. But the size will be the KIV because I've never held one in real life. Mm -hmm. So the weight will be definitely something to consider. I'm eyeing the medium, but at the same time, maybe the small, like you said, is just yeah. a bit more practical. Just, just play by ear when you actually go and try it, right? Because those are... It's a whole other thing to see it on the website mm -hmm. than to try it in person. Like, I think yeah. you tried the mini Lady Dior and the small many times, right? And both sides many, were many, kind many. of like, meh for you. But I think you still lean towards the small before. Small. Yeah. I like the medium. I tried it a few times, but the weight was yeah, quite, it was quite a bit, right? Um, yeah. Then yeah. the mini, which I really liked. Yeah, but I, you know what? If I had the mini as well, like if I bit the bullet then to buy it. I think I'll love it right now. But that time when it was the time to look at it, it was sort of like, oh, it's too small, too small. <laughs> now it's like too expensive. But yeah, <laughs> I always lean towards the middle, the middle group. So the small size because it's just enough, yet not too much. So the joy is giving me that feel as well. Yeah, I think the joy would be a good, a great one for you because I feel like the fact that you didn't get either the mini or the small back then it's it's a it's a sign that you wouldn't really carry it like even though i own the mini i don't carry it a lot because it is really my like i don't have to use it just as an occasional bag but that's the only way i see that bag as being because it's too it's too dressy and delicate for everyday wear I don't want to ruin it, you know? Um, and plus the color too. Like, it's just not an everyday color for me because, I mean, with the rain and the snow, like between all the weather conditions, like you just don't want to wear that kind of bag every day. So um, I feel like, yeah, the Detroit, actually the black looks really nice. The one that yeah. you get, that's Joanne, really I will, I will. Just, just uh, let me get to Paris first. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, cannot gosh. bite the bullet in Sing at Singapore. Is it's too firstly, much. Firstly, the retail is too much. Yeah, and then you got the tax, right? As a yeah, 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 uh, yeah. totally. But if I was ever traveling, why not? It's like 20, yeah. 30 but what twenty plus percent discount <laughs> overseas? Oh my goodness! Yeah, I mean, the only reason why I have mine is because. I wanted to beat the price increase, the invisible price increase that would have brought it to the level where I would never buy it again. And of course, we couldn't travel during the pandemic. That was like in 2020, right? Wow. So I'm like, uh, if I don't buy it now, I'll never buy it. So that's the only reason why I have it. Because so, I bought it early enough. 
early and that was already surprised. so late. yeah 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 exactly early and already late but now it's yeah. like now it's like forget it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joanne's yeah, speaking like, of weather okay it has been crazy windy in Singapore I think for the past uh, two this week the wind is like you can stand at the road and it's makes you sway it's yeah. so crazy i don't wow. know what's going on yeah wow no way so weather has been just madness it's been raining so we need umbrellas i never used to carry umbrellas but now all the time yeah, bad huh mm. yeah they were saying also vancouver we're uh, like this weekend it's like record high uh record low temperature for this time of year for us and I was laughing at it because I'm like, oh, well, not that I don't agree that it's record low for here. But like, I was just laughing at it because I'm like, well, it's like minus 30, whatever in Montreal all the time. Well, not really all the time, but you know, like I just felt like, oh, well, you, you know, where I used to live. But it is still cold for here. It is still very cold for here, especially this time of year when uh, we usually right on this side of Canada, we usually have kind of like early spring weather already by this time mm -hmm. yeah yeah this is like um now it's end february so month of february usually that's when chinese new year is and usually it's the start of spring right so it's really hot and sunny for the longest time that i remember chinese new year is hot hot right. sweaty sticky sunny but this year the water rabbit has been just like Rain, wind, <laughs> rain, wind. <laughs> I remember there was one whole week I could not dry my clothes because I hang them. I'm like, when is my clothes ever gonna dry? Because it just stopped. It didn't stop raining mm. at all. It was insane. I'm at the top of the comments. The first question that I see, I'm not sure if you want to answer this or if you have anything to talk about, but Chris is asking oh. if you're doing anything or getting yourself anything special for your upcoming birthday. <laughs> uh, let me just say that we will have two birthday hauls. Ooh. Yeah, I had to split it. Okay, Looking so... Forward. Yeah, um... There's definitely some H, okay? There's uh, there's like a sneak peek at the side there. Obviously, you can't see it now because we're <laughs> in a portrait mode. <laughs> and um, yeah, I do have some stuff. Kind of broke my rule a little bit, but never mind. It's the birthday month. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I am... Am I getting? Maybe I'm sort of like, have I gotten <laughs> myself something special? <laughs> the answer is yes and uh, we yeah we'll have so when is the video going to go out actually the reason i was late for the live this morning because i was filming it oh. filming the part one so it's coming up and, already yeah it's coming up it's coming up so i will push one out early march and Ooh. then i'll do one more towards the end of march third week maybe because i'm still like putting it together <laughs> nice 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 looking forward so you guys know there's gonna be some unboxings coming up <laughs> i know like yeah, I mean, unboxings you just gotta do it right <laughs> hey unboxings are great i love They're watching great them. i love it like i'll be like what you get <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. I think this is the, the first bag that I was talking about. The Lady 9522. Oh. Reminds of the Age Garden Party. Yes, true, yes, true, yes, true. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. The 20, <laughs> the 30 and... Yeah, not the 36, yeah, but 30, yeah. The 30, the smaller one. Mm. Okay, I have one question down here, right? Kilko is asking... Can you guys cover designer raincoats and best mm. rainy day bags? Ooh, good suggestion. Rainy day bags. Rainy day bags. Long I shop. already know which one we're going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> Mine's too far, but it's like right there. <laughs> Oh no, God. on Insta's, I mean, seriously, there are some pretty good ones, actually. We can do that. Yeah, that'll be fun. Well, okay. So, you know, I do I do wear some of my bags in rainy days, but like not not when it's really pouring, then I just avoid it just because you don't want to, you really don't want to ruin anything. Um, but like, just as an example, right? Even my Chanel 19, I can wear it on a rainy day. Like if it's just drizzles. A little mm -hmm. bit of rain here and there. It's no problem at all. Because I got caught in a rain, like sort of like a pouring rain one time. And I freaked out because that was my first time. And nothing happened to it. It was fine. It dried perfectly fine. Uh, but please don't do it too often and come and yeah. come back and blame me, okay? Because I'm not suggesting that you do it. I'm just saying that I don't. No I don't thunderstorms, please. <laughs> oh, honestly, yeah, don't. Um, even my Gabrielle, I've... I've used it in like a little bit of a drizzle. I don't, I think I will try to avoid the Gabrielle only because I've heard subscribers reporting back that they have peeling with their chains. So oh. I would just avoid doing too many times with the Gabrielle. Um, yeah, what yeah else? sounds like a fun video to do. We could do a live on that. Be yeah, fun. we should. Okay, we'll add yeah, it to okay. the March calendar maybe or sometime yeah. whenever. Yeah. Since we're going to have to do the March calendar soon. Okay, I'll take a note now. <laughs> yeah, I think I, yeah, I saw this comment earlier. Yeah, the East-West, huh? The East-West is just like it takes a bit of time to remind ourselves that it used to be a shape that we all had or maybe some of you are too young maybe that's why <laughs> maybe some of you are born in the 90s and it's too young for you to remember <laughs> that it used to be like this kind of shape of eggs back then you know <laughs> uh, amy's okay chris has got a question for you amy you have the lady dr for more than two years what are the pros and cons oh ah, okay um okay so pro would be a definitely a very classic shape cannot ever go wrong with it uh for mine i like that it's sort of like the only almost like it's it's sort of like that pearlescent gray right so it's almost like a metallic the only metallic bag that i have which is very extra special so it's great for special occasions and the other pro, I mean, size-wise, it's still adequate, right? If Especially if you don't use a Max phone. Like, if you just have the pro or the mini, uh, it's more than adequate. And it's still relatively easy to get in and out because the flap is not as fussy as a zip, I think. Obviously, the cons are going to be related to the pros because it's quite still quite narrow, right? You're always going to have to play Tetris with grabbing something and putting it back properly that's like a nuisance and because it's more of an occasional bag it's not an everyday bag so that's a con you I don't end up using it that often so if you're more concerned about cost per wear you're most likely not going to get it with the size that I have and um, the con is that it's so expensive now <laughs> it's very expensive now like I'm not gonna how much it. is it now I'm, okay let me just take a look i'm not just gonna take a look i think yeah i think it's like the that's what i was trying to say earlier i think it's the same price as the djoy small i think how much are you now lady dior oh my god <laughs> it's high i was shocked actually is it more than the d djoy small wait, wait, i'm gonna so look too much. because i was shocked myself and I it's was seven thousand three hundred like, Singapore dollars. Six three. Wow. Seven thousand three hundred. Seven thousand. Oh wow. Okay, that's way more than the DJOY. Wait a minute. <gasps> what? Oh, it is more. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, in Canada, right? So like this price is like over two thousand more than when I bought it from, and I bought it in twenty. Did I buy it in 2020? 2020, right? It's July 2020. I bought it. So it's like, uh, 
How much is it? Yeah, it's like over two thousand, over twenty one hundred more than when I use when I bought it. That's a lot in a span of two and a half years. <laughs> it's just too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a lot that's why i said uh that's definitely probably the the worst con because like everything else is good like the bag is is a good bag right but it's definitely an occasional bag so do you want to spend that kind of money for an occasional bag that's the question yeah, yeah. okay i'm going to add one more pro to your bag that um it's good for it's a good it's good to travel with because when you go traveling you want maybe you want to have a variety of bags so because it's small and it's you know um compact but it's also that dainty bag it can be the going out bag the mm -hmm. pretty bag that you have when you go for a trip um yeah i think i think because of the size it will also be a good travel dinner bag true only challenge i have with traveling with it uh is if it's really uh, like long distance travel where I'm concerned about packing because I don't want to damage it damage the, the leather because it's still it's a good lambskin it's thick lambskin but it's still lambskin at the end of the day you don't want to dent it uh, that would be the only concern I would have if it's short term not short term but like a shorter distance like if it's a road trip or if it's just like a short flight maybe a bit better so maybe you just have to pack it super well. I think that's all yeah. that you have to do. Pack it super, just super, say super well. <laughs> that I am on the Dior site now because I'm, I'm looking at the mini uh, Lady Dior. There are a lot of bags, okay? Yeah. Let me, just, let me just share and just scroll you through. And it's... Wow. What is... What's going on, Dior? Dior don't... Does Dior do this? Like, they come up with like a... Like a massive amount of bags at one go. I did notice that they had a lot more variety this time around, which is why it was almost a bit hard to choose because mm. you either choose everything or you just choose exactly what you want to show for. Oh, I haven't seen this one. It's like a curry puff kind of bag. Curry puff, like a pastry. Mm. <laughs> Cute. Then they've got <laughs> this Carol version. Then they got Carol box version. This reminds me of the Chanel lunchbox yeah then you've got two of these and they got this yeah. Like a yeah, yeah, yeah. phone then they have this which is like the phone pouch as well okay and then um, they've got this one which is like a drawstring mini mm -hmm. oh that's cute right? right look at that that's super cute actually okay and then okay so more of these like lunchbox type bags um yeah, okay, this one was, this is what we've seen before. Yeah. And then they have these. Yeah. Mm. Oh, here we go. There's another, this other bag. I don't know what is this one. Maybe this is the lunchbox. <laughs> it's a lot of bags. Like, just a lot, a lot of new bags. See? Phone tote. Hmm. That one's old. This one's old? Uh, okay. No, the one beside it. This one's old? Yeah. Oh. Because I, I tried I, I tried it. At, well, I was considering it when it came out. And I was shocked at the price. I'm like, what? For this? There's no zipper, nothing. It's like nothing. Yeah. It was too expensive for just fabric. This is new, right? This, this phone this pouch. This is new. I don't recognize it. 2004. Yeah, you know, I can see a very um, Gen Z kind of uh, bag look, mm -hmm. you know. Cool, small bag. Ooh, TikTok. <laughs> okay, okay. Small of these pouches. These are a little bit more expensive, though. Oh no, no, three thousand. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's the same Nomad pouch, but just the we have before tax price here. So mm. that was the same one that we talked about earlier. It's a lot of new bags. I mean. Yeah, there's a lot. Dior is not known for keep. They're not known for keeping a lot of their designs. That's one of my like, right. kind of yeah with mm -hmm. them. Like some mm -hmm. like Fendi and they just mm -hmm. uh, and Gucci is like the culprit <laughs> where they they make one bag for one season and you pay a high price and next thing you know it's gone and it's discontinued. 
Ooh. Which is why I feel like even if you get any of the the lady line, right? It's safer because it's still their classic line, the mark, the the carnage quilting. Uh, even though the shape may be elongated or like the the new shape that we're seeing now, the ninety five twenty two. It's so hard to say. Um, but I ninety five. Think... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think the word ninety five. Then you stop like five, and then you got a twenty two. <laughs> it's it's such a effort to say. 95, 22. It's, it's, it's a different mouth movement. <laughs> That's why I didn't even know how to say it. <laughs> I wasn't even sure how to say it. I still don't know how to say like how they say it. But anyway. 95, 22. It's so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm spitting. <laughs> I know. Okay, so this is a question. I don't have any feedback aside from the fact that I personally don't mm. ever find espadrilles comfortable ever in any brand. Yeah. So, yeah. They're too flat. And, and that's yeah. coming from me who says Orans are comfortable for me. <laughs> there's something about, there's something about the espadrilles that I, I struggle with wearing it. I feel like I'm walking on bricks because I feel like when my, I'm trying to, when I walk, my natural instinct, because it's a shoe that hugs my entire foot, my natural instinct is to try and use my the back of my heel to lift up the shoe. And because it's so stiff at the bottom, I feel like I'm <laughs> I feel like walking like this. Whereas the Orans, because it's just a sandal, even though I'm naturally walking like I don't care if the shoe is the sandals are like flopping on the floor. I don't have that natural need to use my heel to lift up something that's nothing at, at the back. So it's, it's just, a, yeah, it's just so strange when I wear espadrilles. It's not the most um, ergonomic. It's not. And I almost wonder if it's because we've, um, you know, like as a kid, you probably don't know what pain is. <laughs> and so you just wear any shoe and it's fine. Yeah. Like I'm sure if I had these shoes when I was much, much younger, like in my teens, I would be fine. Even 20s maybe. But like now I just, I feel everything. <laughs> just the moment I put it in, I feel everything. I'm like, no. Nope. I, I open my eyes from my sleep. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pain, pain. <laughs> I know. It's like, but maybe it's just because we're more self-aware. Whereas before you, you almost like, you're just given, you're, you're told to what wear whatever, you're given to wear whatever. And you just, you don't think about it, right? You just wear True. whatever. <laughs> so um you don't even know what's uncomfortable. You've received the pain before though. Have yeah. you perceived pain in your teen? No. Pain? I don't remember. It. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, actually the most uncomfortable things that we wear in school. Like we will wear pinafore and um uh, in, in Malaysia I would wear the baju kurong, which is the traditional it's like long sleeve all the way until my knees and then you got this other skirt that's on the inside and it's like tight gutter it's like if you ask me to wear that now yeah i, I would die <laughs> i'm like oh my god so hot. <laughs> i'm feeling everything squeeze squeezing my stomach then it was like ooh, okay you just get along with it it's hot it's uncomfortable it's long it squeezes everything yeah there's no pain <laughs> just do it you just wear it because you're supposed to Maybe it's the oh. choice. Maybe there's maybe because now you have a choice. So naturally yeah. you want to choose something that is, you know, you you just don't want to deal with it with pain anymore. You're like, no, that's it. No, <laughs> it's pinching me. No. I know. <sighs> okay. I see everyone's like, Amy, get the jacket. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> I feel the pressure now. <laughs> Oh, Diana, let me just pull this out. Congratulations. Diana just scored oh. a size 23 really black this week. Oh, very nice. Congrats. Very nice. Very nice. Let me see what size 23. I'm curious. Yeah, I was just wondering that too. Oh, okay. It's the same size as, um. I think it's the, is it the same size as, 
Isabel's 23, 23. No, that's the 18, no? Oh, that's the 18. Okay, so no. this is like the size, the constant size. Yeah, okay. Nice. Like. Like the, the not the mini, but maybe like the, is it the small, small. or the medium? Small, right? Small. Small. Wow. Everything is so hard to get now. Yeah. Um, sorry, I was about to sneeze. Um, yeah, that, <coughs> sorry, I did have to sneeze. So um, everything is hard to get because like, like at Chanel, I was just talking about it in my recent Q&A, right? I was just saying how, because I haven't been shopping for a little while, I almost feel like I can't get anything. <laughs> but granted, I wasn't trying to get anything specific. Well, maybe I have, but like there are smaller things. And obviously the smaller things, they get sold out more fast. So um, yeah. And plus like my essay is only part time. So I feel I feel even harder to get anything. And like LV, forget it. I don't even have an essay anymore at LV. Me too. Yeah. I'm not no, 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 yeah. no. So, like, so far, the only place that I can still get things sometimes <laughs> right now is Hermes and Tiffany. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I will actually get things in Chanel. I shop lately. <laughs> Chanel. I still got my essay there. Mm. Um, yeah, Hermes. Okay. Yeah, but LV, totally not. Yeah. Gone, gone. I do need to find a rip. I do need to get some replacement things, but I'm holding out on LV. Like, hold out. Like, I need to get a replacement for my keys. You know the the key pouch. Oh, that really? I can yeah, LV. I mean, I've had that for a long time, and it's yeah. all, you know, is it curving out? Now? Which, oh, yeah. but maybe I'll get that in Paris. Yeah, that would be a good souvenir, like a little something, especially. Actually, the key pouch is not easy to get anymore. Like any of the small leather goods, which is why I'm right? so kind of glad that mine is still kind of holding up. I mean, all the glazing is almost off now, but it's still holding up, so it's fine. I don't really yeah, care. Same. Just looks nasty, but I was thinking like, okay, <laughs> there's one thing I would get from LV. It would be the six key ring holder because I've only had one all this while, and it still works great. Like the hardware is great. But if there was one thing I would replace, that would be the one. Cause, yeah. 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 That's probably universally the, the most favorited SLG that uh, LV's made. Like worldwide. I think everyone likes that one. Yeah. Ah, I saw this comment. I'm like, speaking of Longshot, I just received the same as the cat, Minnie's LPG and Amy's paying bag. They're the greatest. Ah, is isn't it the it? one with polka dots? Is it the one with polka dots? No, the LPG is the black and white. Oh, the black and white. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. LGP, sorry, LGP. It's so cute. That's the one. And then the pink one is just amazing. The color is just so bright and vibrant. They're the best. Honestly, they're the they're best. best because they're so affordable. They they can be a rainy day bag, any day bag. And can't be I like bougie that bright all color. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that they're also yeah. like you don't have to worry about getting brighter colors because they're so affordable. <laughs> so, seriously, Longchamp should just like sponsor us. Sponsor this live <laughs> I mean, not stream, not sponsor again. This is just pure, pure, uh, not addiction. I'm not gonna use the word addiction, but pure fans. Like, really, it's just yeah. because you know, there is one color that I <laughs> is it the green one? <laughs> No, the okay. yellow one. Oh, let me just, you know, there's what, a yellow one now because there's a kind of like a neon green that's really nice. I saw it in person. No way. There's a neon green. No, yeah, there is. It's really nice. They have it on the site right now. But then you, the thing is, like, you'll have to get you maybe you should just get the top panel small, like the same size as mine in that color. That one's nice. I had to you. stop myself from getting it. I'm like, no, Amy, you're not getting three of the same size. <laughs> that would be okay, okay, okay. I'll show you. I'll show you. 
I'll show everyone. I I actually have this in my <laughs> I have this in my cart, but I'm not gonna do it because three of the same bags is just a lot. It's just yeah. too much. Yeah. But I oh man, come on. If I ever want to get a yellow it? bag. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's, that's the leather cute. one. I was talking about the canvas one. Oh, come on. Come on. This is that's, cute. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah, so yeah. cute. But it is more expensive because it's leather. Yeah. It's citron yellow. Like, if you want to get a yellow bag, come on. You don't want to spend, like, too much. Having said that, this is a bit much. Like, if they had sale, like, you know, use somebody's code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, damn it. But, no. you know, still, if you compare to <laughs> compare to any brand, honestly, it's still much more affordable. Yeah. And it's a cute yellow, too. It's a cute, it's cute, a cute, very yellow. functional bag. <laughs> okay, we'll see how long you can resist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I agree with this comment from Joe. I'm not sure if I can buy another Lady Dior or Classic Flap because mm -hmm. the pre-love market has a lot of good deals. I agree. I'm always shocked every time I see a Lady Dior on the pre-love market and the price is ridiculously lower than it is now, like the retail. Um, which I guess is good if you want to buy pre-love. That's really good, actually. But if you think of buying a new one and then if you ever have to resell it, it's just not good. Yeah. If you buy it, don't resell. <laughs> that's the that's the only thing you should maybe kind of remind yourself. If you decide to buy it, don't ever think about selling it because you're going to lose money. Yeah. yeah. A lot. So, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Huh, Joanne, I thought about a polka dot one, but I didn't want to get it too many at the same time. Maybe the mm. next. Yeah. It's I true. Know. It's cute. It's cute. I actually really enjoy it. I, I brought it to work a couple of times because I had all my other bigger bags. And I was like, no, I don't want to carry like a fancy bag to work. And I was like, oh, I don't mind a polka dot bag. Yeah. There's something just um, fun. Yeah. You know, fun and carefree when it comes to Longchamp bags. And cheap. <laughs> and, and you get rain, you, no pain. Correct. Uh, and even if you don't buy, like if you have to like just not buy it for a while, they always come up with new designs in the future. Yeah. So there's no worries. It's just that if it's literally your favorite one and if you miss out, then yeah, then they may not come back. Yeah. <laughs> It's oh, so okay. Funny. Let me pull this one. Okay. Oh, oh okay. yeah. That's the same. Oh, is it the that's same the one? Same? No, no, no. No, no, no. I was just going to pull this one because don't even get me started on the uncomfortable shoes in my early teens and 20s. I walked through Hyde Park in heels. I was that dedicated. I agree. <laughs> I used to wear heels running to catch the bus. Well, not heels. <laughs> platforms. But they were still kind of like there's a heel, right? And I was fine. Oh, my gosh. Don't even... I won't even entertain walking in those anymore. So forget about it. To, it's crazy. I, I used to go clubbing, okay, in my <laughs> early 20s. And with these, I still remember I loved them so much. They were like my sexy shoes. They were like this high, like stiletto. And I would go clubbing, dancing all night in them. Nothing. My calves didn't hurt. Maybe my toes <laughs> felt a little tired, you know being stepped on by other people i don't honestly how <laughs> how if i would even walk in them now i'll totally crack a knee okay like girl yeah I'm gone <sighs> unfortunately the only answer i have is old age <laughs> and we're not even that old but you know you kind of feel it every 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 year that you add to your age is like you kind I know. of like the, everything's creaking like between 20 and 25 there's already a difference 25 to 30 there's a difference 30 to 35 and then now like 40 and you're like yeah, wow I definitely can feel like yeah. a difference too <laughs> it's like uh 
Uh, okay, that's one. Because I like tattoos, right? I like tattoos. So mm. I, I've been getting them for the for years. So I finally, okay, finally decided that now after the pandemic, because I, I got a Hello Kitty on one foot, and then now I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to get a Doraemon on the other leg. Yeah. And let me tell you, it freaking hurt. <laughs> but maybe it's the lo- location. No, it's exactly the same location. So let me oh. just bring my foot up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see some feet now. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Only on the luxury okay, there you go. I got the Hello Kitty there, right? <laughs> and That's I got cute. that years ago, pre-pandemic. Okay. And now I have a, I have a Doraemon here. But the Doraemon <laughs> is filled though, isn't it? Yeah, it's more filled. So maybe that's why. It's true, but both tattoos have to start from outlining. Like yes. every tattoo, the outlining is the most painful part because it's thick and she goes over. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> OMG, it was painful. I, when she started, I was thinking, why am I here again? <laughs> what am I doing? That is not fun. And then when she started to like, shade in the color oh lord i felt <laughs> it i felt every scrape and on top of that the healing the healing is totally changed yeah so my skin heals so well like it's i've never i've never scared badly but this guy this doraemon scared so badly that for a moment i thought oh my god i'm gonna get a scabby doraemon <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get okay. a Doraemon with keloids. <laughs> so, so yeah, it really changed. Like I've, I've always had like my whole back's filled up, but now the tattoos on uh, any kind of like things on my skin. Damn mm. you, forties. Okay, it's totally mm. changed. Annoying. Okay, it's annoying. <laughs> So is that going to so be your you're last time? Do now? everything you're right. Yes, exactly, Joe. Do everything when you're young. Yeah, you have. Regret it later. Regret it later. Honestly, like when you're young, you should do things. Well, you don't. I don't want to use the word should, but like I'm, I'm telling myself Good. that, right? Like if, 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 like if I were to tell my young self, which this is, this is exactly what I thought back then, anyway. It's like you should be working as hard as you can when you're young stop like don't do the partying and all that stuff like i mean you can but like don't like make it a habit of partying every weekend and wasting your life away you should do all the things that are hard like making yes. money and yes. studying and all those things because you're not gonna have the same stamina when you get older and trust me even like there's a difference between 15 and 20 as well okay so like now even then it's like Man, not wearing those Louis Vuitton cake shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dang. Actually, speaking Fuck. of health lately, and I don't, I hope it's just temporary, but like the past, um, and I think I told you, like for like three, two and a half weeks, almost three weeks now, I had jaw pain, and it was like mostly this one, but it was both sides definitely. Like now, it's still this one. And also at night, I wake up so many times. Like literally, I wake up at 5 a.m. I wake up at 6 a.m. And then like, you know, every time you wake up, you disrupt your sleep. It takes a while to fall asleep. So I I try to like keep sleeping. Like I wake up at 7 and I'm like, oh, maybe I can pull another hour or something. Like, And I just, it's, I don't feel rested. And it's been like mm. that for a few days. And I don't know if maybe that's why I can't heal this jaw part, like this side. And I'm like, you could be, uh, you could be um, I grind. I definitely grind. Yeah. yeah so for a few, uh, like, I hate wearing my night guard. I do have a night guard though. But like, uh, for the worst nights, I had to wear it because I didn't want to damage my teeth. But I I just don't know. Like, is my even my sleep being uh, disrupted now by my age? Like, I can't even sleep through the night. It's like so terrible. Oh, oh no, there's not enough time. <laughs> I, have to, <laughs> I have to wear everything. Joe, wear two piece and party when you're for. You know what? I'll still do it. I'm sorry. I'll do it. Show everything. Now I'm confident to do it. It's just that I can't. <laughs> That's the problem. Oh, so yeah. It's that, yeah. It's that balance, right? Where. I want to wear, like now I'm going to buy all the high heel shoes and all of that, but I can't afford it, but I can't wear it 
anymore. Oh no, you can. You just no. you just wear it regardless of、I'll、what、die. other people think. When I walk down the stairs, I'll be holding onto the rail like this, like.、Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I'm, if I'm walking from the MRT station, like going down the steps,、oh, yeah. I feel the pressure of the people behind me. I'm like, "Come, old lady, okay, I'm trying to、oh, walk down the stairs." Just the cab, then in that case. I don't know. I yeah. Know. No.、Uh, anyway, so- I never was really in the club scene anyway, so I never cared about clubbing. I did do a little、oh. bit of it because at one point, it was after I graduated university. And then some friends were dragging me. They're like, "Oh, come with me!" Blah blah, because they needed like someone to be with them because they they like the boy or something, you know. Some, so I just I just went for a brief period, but I didn't enjoy it. There's nothing to do. It's like loud music. You come home. You can't <laughs> That's exactly what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Honestly, it's like so boring. But I'm also an introvert, so I don't really enjoy that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh it, my gosh, you know, a friend of mine said me. to me. Uh, a friend of mine said to me、Are、that you? you know the the clubbing scene, like the the, the I mean party out、yeah. night scene, after you're forty is is even more intense because you feel、oh. like you feel like you have to you have to party hard because if you don't, then you still you still sleep late, yeah, and then you still need to recover. So you might as well go all the way.、Oh. <laughs> I mean,、yeah. I burst out laughing. <laughs> Well, I mean, do it once in a while. I would do, I like if I had a party to go. I would do it once in a while. Like a wedding would be a party for me, you know. But I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really make. I I don't enjoy it. I don't. I actually don't. I don't enjoy it. So I don't really care about it. If you enjoy it, you know, be my guest. Do do it. Do it like while you can.、Yeah, do it while you can. <laughs>、yeah. Okay, we have a question here from Coco Kitty. Sissy,、uh, where do you rank Dior as a brand between Hermes,、Ooh. Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Gucci? What do we think?、Hmm. You know where I stand with the last one. <laughs> oh, the last one?、Mm, I would put it between Chanel and LV. Actually,、oh, no. I mean, no. I meant as in like what I, you know, my stand on the last name. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but then, you know, I have to say, only I'm only speaking of Gucci bags, though. I'm not、mm. sure about their ready to wear because I know a lot of people really like Gucci ready to wear,、mm-hmm. and you know, the prices are not too bad, and I've seen some nice things. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the bags because overall,、mm-hmm. maybe it stands differently. Hmm. Where does Dior sit? <laughs> What do y'all say? Okay, why don't we ask the audience? How would you rank this? What would I know? Joe will say. <laughs> How would everyone rank this? Well, I already said where I would rank it, but that's、um, I think. For me, the reasoning why I would rank between Chanel and LV is because.、Mm. Um. Like if I were to compare, I can't compare the ready to wear because I think ready to wear everyone has its has has their strength, right? But、yeah. if I were just to look at mostly the leather goods, like the bags, um, ah,、uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'm pretty sure. I feel like the like in terms of the leather bags, especially the Dior bags, definitely have a stronger classic. That's how I feel.、We've、I can't say、answers. the same about their, you know, their like, what is it called? Like, you know, their canvas,、uh, the, you know, the tote that they have. What is it called now? Dior book tote. tote? Like the、mm. Dior book tote. Like those, those ones. I'm like,、mm, not, not <clears> convinced <throat> myself. And also, I don't think it warrants the price. So, in terms of like, if you were to strictly compare canvas, like. The, LV's canvas bag. I think of of course LV excels at their canvas. So、um, like, I guess it also depends what you compare. But if we're strictly looking at leather goods, like le- actual leather bags, I would put、uh, I would put Dior between Chanel and LV for sure. Okay, let me see what the poll says. Everyone, Jesslyn is saying between 
LV and Chanel, like you. Mm. Joanne is saying after LV. Okay. Okay. Um, Diana is going Hermes, LV, Chanel, Gucci, then Dior. Oh, oh interesting. Why? Why is Dior last, Diana? I'm curious. Vivi for me is saying I like Dior, but it's definitely below LV for me. Hmm. Interesting. So Joanne's curse, LV has a soft spot. Jesslyn saying, actually, LV and Dior is almost on par, mm. but Dior leans towards ladylike style. Good point, yeah. Yep. Missy K, Hermes, Chanel, LV, and Dior is on par, but Gucci, I really don't even step into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. True, true. I do like Gucci per- makeup, though. I have to say, I do like some of their packaging, but <laughs> I don't know, man. With Gucci, um, I, oh, think- I mean, Gucci's not that bad, <laughs> it's just a different vibe, right? I, vibe. Mean, yeah, I think it's the vibe, yeah. It's Maybe different- now that that guy, that yeah. designer is gone, bring back, you know what, bring back Tom Ford Gucci, okay? That Gucci to me, yes sexy like sultry it looks like clothes i would wear not these kind of like double-headed models on the <laughs> runway and you know i just i just can't i maybe it's just too much tom ford gucci was it was it was sexy though mm. that was nice it's a long time ago <laughs> anyway <laughs> anyway where would I place it? I think I would place it. Yeah, I think I would do LV and Dior on par. Yeah, I would do LV and Dior on par. I'm not sure if I would put Chanel on par with Dior though. Cause there's something about Chanel. It's they have that magical look to it. And it's more as like I, I want to be a Chanel girl. I don't want to be a Dior girl kind of feeling. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's that whole like if I'm all decked out in Chanel, I'm like, yeah, Chanel girl. But if I'm all decked out in Dior, I'm like, Dior. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I feel like both uh both houses uh ready to wear have their strength because Chanel has more of a I I when I think of Chanel I think of tweed right like I feel mm. like they are they're better at like the textures and elevating the outfit that way uh, and accessorizing course, huh and all the accessories and all yeah the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's just uh, exactly so head to toe accessories whereas Dior has more of a cleaner mm. it's still very elegant feminine but it has more of a cleaner sometimes even a sharper look I like both, actually. Um, just can't afford it. So. <laughs> but I like both. I like both. Uh, for the bags, I... Well, for sure, Chanel, oh. right? Like, for me, I think Chanel has an edge over over most brands. <laughs> um, the, only, the only brand that has an even higher, like, even better edge or higher, higher, higher edge. How do you say it? Is Almez obviously so has an edge? I think an edge. Yeah, has an edge over is Almez, only due to the craftsmanship, of course, and the use of high quality leather. So, um, yeah, interesting. Okay, so there's an addition to this. So Justin's asking us, what about putting Prada in the equation? Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, Prada's I mean, aesthetic Prada is, is very, it's a lot of black and it's very m- monochromatic, is it? Like just very flat. It's a look though. I don't know. Uh, I think Prada for me would be same as Gucci level, but they just have different vibes. It's just, vibes. It's just exactly what you said. It's like, like the it's opposite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, Prada. <laughs> But oh, Prada has a nice God. crystal bag. No, that's true. That's true. It's like once in a while, there's a gem in Prada. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Vivi's asking us, any plans to do a Gucci episode? 
Why not? Is it even popular though? Is Gucci that? <laughs> is people still I even like? Popular. No, I mean, right. is it popular with the crowd here, like with the luxury, luxury crowd? Is it really popular with you guys? Like, you, you are actually interested. Like, we're not just doing it for nothing. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> we will, when we do a Gucci episode, and everybody will be like, I hate Gucci, yo, this is ugly. Well, then we don't, maybe you well, can be, I, I don't hate Gucci. Like, I, I don't, I think there's always something for everyone, right? I think it's just because our style is more, uh, well, maybe less, less, less flamboyant. <laughs> maybe we could do a Prada versus Gucci. <laughs> What? How would you compare it? I don't know. Oh, that's a great. That's a great um suggestion from Lei. French versus Italian brands. Oh, but Ooh. oh, and French versus French. Ah, uh, but we are talking about it now, though. Like clearly, we are more French. bigger fans of French brands. <laughs> Even Longchamp is French, and we love Longchamp. So, like, how do you? There is that flamboyant look to Gucci, you know. It's we could, we could, you know, we could just do one. I, I can be, I can be objective. <laughs> can you though? <laughs> can well, you? I, have, I had Gucci bags, right? I had them. I had them, and I kind of like the um the small mamor, the mini mamor. Remember, I had that for a while, mm -hmm. and I did see somebody carrying it like in orchard, and I looked at it. And I was like, oh. Bits of memories. <laughs> yeah, we could. Well, I had what? a Gucci Marmont too, but Clearly yeah, we could. We could. Yeah, let me just add it. Really All right, let's we'll add it. We'll big add fans it. of the brand. We'll add it. We'll add it. So I feel like it, it, any episode of that would be clearly very skewed. <laughs> 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 This is a cute question. Nothing to do with luxury, maybe. Um, Amy Cat, um, what is something that you always wanted to do now since life is so short? <laughs> oh, it's a deep question. Do. Wow. I don't know. Me neither, because I don't want to think about it and, and be like, oh, I regret not doing blah, 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 you know? But there was always one thing that I thought before that I always wanted to try, and it is definitely too too late for me to try now, which is to learn how to surf on like oh. in the beach, like on the beach, just because I I probably couldn't anymore. Um, that was one thing I always wanted to to try because I always I I always used to love uh, like water activities like swimming, diving. Um, I can still swim and dive, but like I probably couldn't surf. That's the only thing I probably couldn't do. I don't know. I'm not a big travel person. Um, but if, you know, one thing that I would like to do is really travel more. And go to somewhere really, really exotic, but safe mm -hmm. at the same time. Because... I'm scared. <laughs> like exotic, uh, like Africa? Yeah, like that really, like, you know, just, yeah, have this, those kind of, and I don't know where, like it could even be for me, like Brazil, mm -hmm. somewhere that it's not very common, though obviously with everyone traveling everywhere, but it's not so common. I say like Paris is kind of common, right? But if you were to go South Africa and you do the whole safari thing it would be pretty cool um brazil would be cool cuba would be cool things like that yeah i think that would be nice i've been to cuba oh it's you nice. have it's nice yeah um uh, i was when was it again 2000 Trying to remember what age I was. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> six? Five? 2006, 2005? I think I can't remember exactly. 
Um, but it was just like a, you know, one week trip. It was nice. It's sort of like that. Um, how do I compare it? It's not, I don't know how to compare it. It's not, it's not similar to anything that I know. I haven't been to Mexico, so I can't really compare it to Mexico. So I don't know. It's definitely not like Hawaii. Hawaii's too clean. Like Cuba's not, it's very nice. Um, but it just depends on the area that you go to. We did go to Havana for one day, but most of the time we did stay at the resort. So which, you know, like when you're at the resort, you don't see everything that like you don't really yeah. see the real life. So when we went to Havana, we did pass by some streets and things like that. So you could see the more of the, it's definitely more poor, but um, the vibe, however, is nice though. Like the music, like the old vintage cars, um the food was okay i didn't think about the food too much it was i always thought that maybe like i always thought that tropical tropical countries would always have spicy like very spicy food but it wasn't it was kind of bland so i was kind of oh. shocked by that too yeah it's nice okay. though definitely recommend at least like you saying amy you should come to singapore Oh, I want to go can. back. I want to. Or plan a France Italy subscription. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Getting more and more fancy. <laughs> France and Italy. Wow. Nice. I would just go just because I love, I actually love traveling. Not, not because of the traveling aspect, but I just like to be in a different, uh, like a, in a different culture environment just trying different foods different climate i usually prefer going to hotter places if i'm going to travel yeah, <laughs> yeah. stay at home if you want cold <laughs> stay at home i have a lot of cold here like i <laughs> you know there's there's still a lot of places that are cold that i i know would be nice to travel to like switzerland yeah. norway those places i mean you don't oh, have to actually, go there cold. is now you just brought norway the northern lights i've never seen it the, the, the lights, you know, Aurora, 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 is it Aurora? What? Northern Aurora, right? Aurora, <laughs> Borealis. Actually, we Aurora can actually see it in, <laughs> um, is it in, okay, guys, I'm clueless, but is it in Alaska that you can see it too? You can see it anywhere north, I think. So yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Finland, you know, Greenland and all, you can see it. And I think Alaska as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I would want to see that before I kick the bucket <laughs> <laughs> there's still some time <laughs> there's still quite some time <laughs> okay there's a luxury question here dior question amy cat what are your thoughts on the ab my abc dior in the blush color do you girls think that it's a classic and easy to style yeah i think so hmm. the blush color is like I said, the, the blush color, the gray color from Dior, I think it's so stunning. They do it the best. So I think it's a classic for sure. Is it easy to style? Mm, mm. It depends. Because yep. I still always see the Lady Dior as more of a... Mm, like Even though the ABC Dior is a bigger size, because it's a small size essentially, right? I still feel like it's sometimes not the most casual bag. Like you can, you can wear it more casually, but my opinion is that it's not, it's still not as easy to style. That's my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's exactly what you said. I think this, it's definitely a classic color. It was one of the colors that I considered when I was still pre pandemic looking at the bag. However, every time I tried to carry it, it it didn't go with my overall aesthetic. And it's also your skin color. So if it goes with you, like maybe you have a, I, I don't know, I'm just assuming it is. Because when I wear it, I'm like, oh, it kind of not clashes, but I feel like I'm fighting with the color a little bit. But on mm -hmm. a bag on its own, it's stunning. So I'm wondering whether, because maybe my, because my face is quite cool tone. I am quite pinky on my face, but my overall like hand skin <laughs> is 
yellower. So when I carry that bag, I feel like it just contrasts and makes me look a little... Not pale, but uh, different. So yeah, it it's the you gotta style it. Then you have to wear the clothes with it uh, because it's pink. I I felt like I didn't have the right outfits to go with it. Plus, it's that classic, very ladylike design. On top of it, you got this beautiful pink. If your wardrobe has this element of girliness to it, then obviously it'll, it'll look great. But for me, it was a bit a bit of a mismatch. But I, I really, I mean, on its own, when I looked at it on the counter, I was like, oh my gosh, that is a beautiful color. Yeah. All, uh, personally, I also find that the Lady Dior being such a ladylike shaped bag, the fact that it had a thicker strap and, the, you know, the ABC, the, the, the letters, um... I don't know, the juxtapos the juxtaposition didn't work for me. Mm. I uh, Maybe it's personal preference, but I've seen a lot of people wear it, even casually. So I think at the end of the day, it just boils down to, are you confident with your outfit and wear it at the same time? Because if you are, then go for it. Because, you know, that's just our opinion and that's just our own way of dressing. So, um, you know, like... I've seen a lot of people wear it casually as an everyday bag and it's totally fine too. So it also boils down to yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, Lai's sharing. I think this we can take this as a last couple of comments. So Lai is saying that my ABC Dior is the easiest style because mm. of the thick strap. I agree. Choose the mm. right color. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think the color will make a difference for the bag. And Dior has so many, so many colors now. I have the blue, blue um, yeah, yeah, yeah. ocean blue ombre. Nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, Dior is a lot of eye candy still for sure. Like, um, but there's a lot of competition out there. <laughs> um, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. Members, tomorrow on my channel, we have a special episode. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you in March. <laughs> yes. Wow. Already. Already. Yeah. Sure, it's crazy fast. Yeah. Anyway, have a good evening or day ahead of you. Bye, guys. Bye.